congratulations to all of today's award recipients. Again, your dedication, your compassion, your empathy, uh, your uh, ability to innovate and to lead uh, the communities and, and on behalf of the clients you serve is just great. So congratulations to, to all of you. It's a great pleasure for me uh, to present this award. Many of you know Riverside is one of the most prominent community behavioral health organizations in the Commonwealth and the reputation is deserved. And that, of course, is due to 30 plus years of leadership by Scott. And this award recognizes that, but also much more, because for many years, starting back around 2005, Scott has been the behind the scenes leader of the collaborative. Starting with a, a meeting with Scott and one other CEO and the executive directors of the Association of Developmental Disabilities, the Providers Council, and ABH, the collaborative formed. And the collaborative is an entity which lobbied for, monitored the implementation of, and has worked with all the administrations in the legislature to make sure that the promise of reasonable and fair rates for Chapter 257 are really realized by the provider community. And keeping us calm and organized and on the straight and narrow has been Scott, who's been the leader of that team. And the, remarkably, we've had no police involvement, not one instance, <laughs> although we're not done. We know we're not done with our work, and we're going to continue that. But um, it's been a very interesting process. We have a lot of work to do. And behind the scenes, somebody who's been an, sort of an unsung hero on that has been Scott. And so I think it's terrific that we are giving him this award. It's a great pleasure to give this exemplary leadership award to Scott Bach, Riverside Community Care, and the quiet chairman of the Collaborative Steering Committee. I've been around for a very long time now, 35 years in my job at Riverside and nearly 40 years in our business. And establishing Chapter 257 and accomplishing what we have to date has been one of the most um, amazing experiences I've been involved with. And it has been a quiet effort because there was a long time where I thought, boy, if I'm the point person on this, we will be the least funded organization in the Commonwealth. So, you know, it wasn't something I was advertising a lot. So it's really been among the, the two or three most important accomplishments in my career. And I'm really honored to receive this award. I was saying to somebody earlier that in these jobs as CEO, we get honored more probably than we should. It's the direct care staff that should get the honors, but we get honored a lot. This one really does mean something to me. So now there's been a law in place and a formal process to gain fair rates for the services we provide. And there are a lot of my colleagues in this room who have busted their rear end for the whole industry on this, and they deserve a round of applause. So if you would do that, I would appreciate it. So I just want to point out something, and then I'll, I'll get out of here. I just want you to remember something that happened, and some of you might not have noticed it, but I really want people in this room to take power. Every one of the gubernatorial candidates said in public, on TV, in meetings with Vic or Bruce or Deb or me, I support Chapter 257 and I will make sure that it gets implemented. That never happened to our industry before. I mean, they, they were standing up in public meetings and talking about 257 when no one even knew what the hell they were talking about. That's, that's power, we have to keep that up. So I just, I'm gonna end by telling you, I've, um, we gave a lot of raises this year to our employees. I'll bet a lot of you did the same thing and seeing the